What's up, gang? How are you? Happy New Year. So I just wanted to come out today and talk to you guys uh, on this media day with the athletes that, you know, the focus is on them. These guys have trained hard and, and got ready for this fight. What happened uh, on New Year's Eve is mine, my mistake, not theirs. And obviously, uh, nobody's more about free speech than me. If somebody, if, you know, if one of the fighters wants to come out and voice their opinion on it and, and uh, whatever it might be, then, then by all means, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the, the TMZ video and seen uh, my interview. It was obviously a horrible personal experience. And, uh, you know, there's no excuses for it. Something that I'm going to have to deal with and uh, live with for the rest of my life. And one thing that I do want to clarify in this thing that I didn't talk about on TMZ because I didn't expect it and I didn't see it coming is the people that are defending me, you know. Um, there's, there's never an excuse. I'm sure you guys have read some of the same stuff that I've seen. There's, there's no defense for this, and people should not be defending me uh, over this thing, no matter what. Um, you know, all the criticism that I have received this week is 100% warranted and, and will receive in the future. So, and you know me better than anybody, if, you know, especially the people that I don't like start coming after me, nobody fires back more than I do. Um, I, I'm I, whatever that anybody has to say, everybody has an opinion on this, and, and, and they're, they're right to have their own opinions. I was very opinionated on this too, and I still am. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, crazy that I'm sitting here even having this conversation with you guys, but yeah, so my, 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 uh, my reason for being here today is I just wanted you guys to focus on them and not me. Any questions? I was going to ask you were taking Morgan. questions. I, guess, I mean, I guess the big question that everybody wants to know, I mean, you, like you said, no excuses, you know, full apologies, and I, and I like your statement there that it shouldn't be defended at all, but are there going to be any repercussions? People are saying, you know, he's a big public figure, he's big, you know, charged this big company, nobody's really talking about it. You know, are there any repercussions planned from the company or self-imposed repercussions? Yeah, well, I mean, what should the repercussions be? You tell me. I take 30 days off. How, how does that hurt me? I mean, I told you guys when we were going through COVID, COVID could last 10 years. I could set it out and, you know what I mean? What, what, what would be the problem? The only, it's, it's much like COVID actually, you know, the, uh, me leaving hurts the company, hurts my employees, hurts the fighters. Doesn't hurt me. I could have left in 2016. You know what I mean? I don't know. What's the, do, do I need to reflect? No, I don't need to reflect. The next morning when I woke up, you know what I mean? I, I, I've been against this. I've owned this. I, I'm telling you that I'm wrong. And, um, but listen, I mean, I've had, we've had plenty of discussions internally with Ari, ESPN. Ever, nobody's happy. Nobody's happy about this, you know? Neither am I. Um, but it happened. And, and, and I have to deal with it. And, and what is my punishment? Here's my punishment. I got to walk around for however long I live. Is it 10.4 years or is it another 25 years? And I got to, and I, and I got to, this is, this is how I'm labeled now. My other punishment is that, you know, I'm sure a lot of people, whether it be media, fighters, friends, acquaintances who had respect for me might not have respect for me now. I mean, there, there's a lot of things that I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life that are way more of a punishment than what? I take a 30-day, 60-day absence? That does, that's not a punishment to me. The punishment is that I did it, and, and now I have to deal with it. And, and more importantly, you guys know how I feel about other people's opinions of me, and, I, and, I, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Nobody, I, you know, I know a lot of you. I don't know what you do when you go home. I don't know what you're into. I don't, you know, nobody knows you better than your kids do, okay? The kids, my oldest is, 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 is almost 22. So for 22 years, he's grown up in a house with me and my wife and the rest of our family. They hear and see everything. They know everything, you know. So whatever perceptions people might have about you, nobody knows better than your kids. And 
as long as my kids know exactly who I am. They know exactly who their mother is. And um, that's what's important to us. You know, this, this, is a, this, this is a personal family matter that played out in public. And, you know, our, our biggest focus was our kids. You want to talk about people being disappointed. Who's going to be more disappointed than your kids are? And, you know, that, that's, that's what we've really been focusing on. I mean, as far as her and I go, we both apologized. We apologized to our kids and, uh, you know, trying to move forward. Is there anything moving forward that you think you can do in terms of, I mean, you just have such a high profile position, right? Like in terms of advocacy, I mean, as you said, this is wrong, this is bad. I mean, is there anything that you think this would be a, a great point to start to, I don't know, a message against it, support of domestic violence victims, anything along those lines? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, we've created a lot of awareness, you know, th th this was, uh, you know, and it's not something that I'm, I'm trying to, but I I've been married to this woman for 27 years. We've known each other for 40. We've been friends for 40 years. We've been married for 27 years, you know, and like I said, anybody who's married knows being married is, is, is you know, it's a job. It's something you got to work at every day. Her and I have been through some shit. But we're still together. We have three great kids, and you know, the biggest focus for, for us is our family. I mean, yeah, I, I guess it, it's like, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think about what it's like. I don't know. I mean, th there's been a lot of awareness, and you know, I haven't, I haven't hid from this thing, I haven't ran from it. I've taken it head on, and, and uh, from day one, you know, I don't know, I don't know what else I could do. Sure, if, I mean, if I could help anybody else in this situation. I, I mean, I said it before, and now I'm saying it after I've done it. You don't ever do it. Don't defend me. Don't anybody defend me. There's, there, there's, you know, there's no reason to even try to defend me, and I don't want any of our fighters in this position where they feel like they have to, unless they, they want to come out and say, he's an asshole, or you know, whatever their feelings are about this, I'm all about free speech, so. Last thing for me, Dana, I mean, it was incredibly unfortunate timing, I guess, in terms of the launch of a slap league. I mean, is that, do you think that's going to impact what happens with that, or is well, everything I, good to go? Or what? Th there is no good or bad timing for what I did. You know what I mean? Th there's uh, irony, very ironic, um, but there's no, uh, there's no good or bad timing for what I did on New Year's Eve. Dana, obviously... You know, when something like this happens, you've got to take it day by day. I'm sure plans are changing about how you deal with it, but sitting here today, do you think, oh, maybe I should have done this differently? Maybe I should have put out a statement rather than going to TMZ? Is there anything you would have done differently? I would have stayed home New Year's Eve. <laughs> if I could go back and change anything, I would have stayed home on New Year's Eve, yeah. Um, but no. I don't know. Do you think so? I don't know. Maybe an official statement, but if you said that in TMZ, it's the same words. I what did an interview on TMZ. I literally... There was, what, what else was there to say? No, I, agree. I mean, you, you could literally write an official statement from my TMZ interview. Uh, you mentioned it's a personal matter, and I, I respect that, but I'm curious, is everything okay with the family? Is it a process? You yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's the thing nobody's asking about. Hey, are you guys okay? Is everything? We, we finished our family vacation, and, and, and we came home, and yes, we're good. I mean, obviously, we're still dealing with, you know, with, with the kids, my oldest isn't happy with us, you know what I mean? And, and you know, it's, it's, I'm sure it's embarrassing for the kids, you know, that this, that this thing played out. And, and, again, I can tell you this, and a lot of people will take it however they want, will believe or won't believe, but it's never happened before. It never, ever happened before. So, obviously, for my kids, it's a big deal. How tough was that conversation with them the day after and just... In general. I mean, just like we did, you know, before the, the TMZ interview happened, we, uh, we sent them the video and we got them on the phone, you know, and, and we did the best we could. Thanks, Dana. Hey, Dana. <clears throat> um, I was just wondering if you have re reached out to any of the female fighters on the roster, especially the ones that have dealt with domestic violence um, before. I was just wondering if you no, had reached no, out. No, I've, I haven't reached out to any of the fighters. This, this, is, this, is my, this is my thing. This is my thing between me and my family. Um, you know, and, and, and whether you're 
a media member, a fighter, or whatever you are, you, you saw my, you saw my interview, and that that's my position on it, and uh, and you're hearing my position on it today. Dana, thanks for coming out. Obviously, both sides carried a little bit of fault, but I, I thank you for coming out of here. And you took seems that you're taking a lot of the blame. You don't want people to defend you. What do you say to the people that are wanting to put the blame on your wife? That your wife that your wife started this, and that was ramifications of her. Yeah, actions. no, there's only there's only one side of this. It's my side. Uh, there is never a reason or an excuse uh, for what happened on New Year's Eve to ever happen. Period. And like I said, I'm 53. I'll be 54 this summer. Never done it. I mean, never put my hands on a woman in my life other than my sister when we used to try to kill each other when we were little. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, but other than that, uh, you know, this, this is the first time that it's ever happened. And I guarantee you it will never happen again. And nobody should be defending me. There, are, there aren't two sides of this story. There's only my side. Thanks, Dana. Thanks. Hey, Dana. Yep. To your left. Hey. Um, in 2014, you said you don't bounce back from putting your hands on a woman. Uh, how do you bounce back from this as a leader in the UFC and at home as a husband and a father? You don't. You don't bounce back from this. You don't ever bounce back from this, you know? For the rest of my life, like I said, however long that is, people are going to label me that. You know what I mean? How I did it. It's, it's, I did it. How do you repair things at, at home? You, you said. don't. You don't bounce back from it. You, 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 you wake up every day and try to be better than you were yesterday, and you make sure that that never happens again. Whatever steps you have to take to make sure that you're never in that situation and that never happens again, that's what I need to do. And it's a fact. I mean, there's a couple things in life that you don't bounce back from, and this is one of them. That's a fact. Hi, Dana. Thank, Hi. You, thank you for coming out. I know it can't be easy to face us all. Um, I want to know if there's going to be any changes going forward with fighters that are in this similar situation, if there's any changes to procedures or now that you've gone through it, if you're going to have any different take on that. Well, I don't have a different take on it. I mean, it, 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 it all depends on different situations, you know what I mean? Um, but hopefully everybody's seen what's going on with me, and, and uh, hopefully this never happens. But at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We all make mistakes, and, uh, you know, all you can do is, is try to recover from, from the mistakes that you make in life. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sure it'll be on a case-by-case -case basis. I mean, we got, we got a lot of people around here that make a lot of mistakes, and, and I'm one of them. Thank you. Yep. Dana, just one. Other than everything you, we can see, is there any damage financially talking, any sponsor or anything financially, any damage for the company? Um, no, I, I, don't think, I, I, I don't think so. But, you know, still early too. So we'll see. Done with me? Have a great day. Thanks.